Hi, I'm Dan Toll is my name. I'm a, an engineering researcher involved in marine robotics for challenging real world environments, ocean, offshore and airborne systems. Effectively, we're interested in making use of the oceans for food production, for energy, for many, many different reasons, exploring, protecting the environment. In order to do that, we need to be able to access the ocean and most of the oceans are <coughs> inaccessible by humans. For example, a large focus of our research funded by SFI in marine renewable energy Ireland is looking to harness marine renewable energy, wave, wind, offshore wind, floating wind, tidal energy devices. By design, these are being put in locations which are high energy, large waves, very strong currents, very high winds. The con conventional offshore oil and gas operates on the seabed where it's relatively quiescent. We wish to put engineering technology generating megawatts of energy in the splash zone where there's very large wave conditions coming in. So to in construct, inspect, repair, maintain, operate these installations, very expensive installations in the ocean, means we need to be able to operate in those environments as well for construction, for inspection, for repair. Current technology just cannot meet these challenges and our research is focused on developing robotic technologies capable of working in, the, in, in these conditions. A lot of the robotics focus internationally has been focused on autonomous systems. When it comes to food production, energy production in the ocean, um, our strong belief is that we need humans in the loop. Autonomous robots are perfect in remote observation, but if you want to get involved in close, up, close quarters inspection or intervention as necessary for operations and maintenance, um, it's it's challenged too far for autonomous systems. So we, we, we are working on putting intelligent systems so that we can aid human pilots in dealing with environments that human pilots will be overwhelmed by. So it's a little bit like commercial or small aircraft can be flown relatively easy by a human in the loop. Fighter jets cannot be flown without the computer aiding the pilot. Um, the conditions in the challenging environment mean the pilot will be completely overwhelmed dealing with the waves, the drag and the umbilicals, the heaving targets they're addressing. We need to put semi-automatic systems so that the pilot can do the necessary intervention.